Yeah, every Sunday after a, a game, win or lose is uh, what we call the truth. We speak the truth on Sunday. And, you know, there were some positive. There was obviously lots of negative as well, some things we needed to correct from the game. But because the styles are so different from Stanford to, to Washington State, you know, we spent a little bit of time on correction on film. But after that, we moved straight on to Washington State and trying to get ready for what they do because they're a little obviously different than what we've seen the last couple of weeks offensively and defensively. You know, they, uh, one, they're obviously playing with a lot of confidence. They're executing better. Um, they've been able to stay, they're one, it's a prime example. When, when they started off rough, you know, they didn't abandon their system and go to something completely different. They just stuck with what they're doing and started executing better. And they got a veteran quarterback, veteran wide outs, their veteran offensive line. So, you know, they just stuck with what they're doing and, you know, they're, they started all of a sudden start clicking and playing better. They give it rid of it really quick. A lot of times, it, as soon as it hits his hand, that's one step and the ball's gone. So he can throw it 80 times, and then 40 of them are catching throws. So it's they get rid of it. You know, when you're in a shotgun and you get rid of it quick as he does, it's uh, it's hard to get there. Watching that, you're probably thinking somebody probably should have been guarding him, and that would have been a 100% correct assessment. So that would have been a pretty good critical analysis right there. Yep, somebody should have guarded him, and he didn't. Dang it. Wish you would have.